Back to old school parenting. We actually sent this out to our viewers and a lot of folks had a lot to say about it. I can tell it's a really kind of a lightning rod uh, mm -hmm. topic. So we said, what old school parenting are you sticking with no matter what? <laughs> like no matter what's happening in society, I am sticking to this old school parenting rule. I'm going to start with Patty here. She says, my family's grown, we now have grandchildren. It makes me really happy to see my daughters having family dinner and following through with what they say will happen. If they are parents, not friends, there's time enough for that when the kids become parents themselves. So two things there, family dinners all around the table together. That's something that's taken a slide these days due to, yeah. I think, a lot of over you know, scheduling. Over scheduling. Yeah. And, and also, back in a parents' day, there was a very strong possibility it was one parent working, whereas today we have two. Yeah, that's true. You know, that we does didn't make have, a difference. We didn't have dinners all around the table growing up. So oh, my didn't. mom worked the mornings, my dad worked the evenings tonight. So it would be me and my sister in front of the Muppet Show with like, you know, like the TV dinner. TV dinner. <laughs> yeah, whatever my mom made. But it was fine. Yeah. I mean, I don't find that we were any worse off because of it. But weirdly, we do the sitting all around the table having dinner together because my husband works banker's hours, so he's home, and, and I'm able to be home. We're all around this, the dinner table, you know, arguing, fighting, or, you know, sulking, whatever it is, we're all doing it together well, you every see, now, night. Back in your parents' day, where yeah. this came from, though, is if you didn't have dinner together, because your mom was a stay-at-home mom, yeah. you actually had that one-on-one -on -one and you had that time. Yeah. So now you don't, so now that pulling together for family and talking, yeah. tends to be we need to do it at the dinner table because that's the only time we can be together. Right, so I there's, see what you're that's what, what can you know what can sway yeah. there that's differently. Um, yeah. I want to talk about manners because that's that's coming up a lot and, and you're saying you know when you meet a three year old with manners you want to do backflips, right? Yeah. You're I'm so shocked. excited. I am. So manners are old school. Manners to me are one of the most important things you can impart to your children, not just manners, but how to have a conversation. Yes. You know, it's not just a hello, Mrs. So and so, how are you? When she says, I'm fine, you say, how was your day? Yes. Like, you can actually teach your kids I how to have agree. a back and forth. And I tell you, when you say you do back flips, I'm always shocked because I have, but it's so rare. Mm -hmm. Had that little conversation, I'll, I'll get down, I'll say to a little toddler, oh my gosh, you look so cute today. And he say, well, thank you, you look pretty too. And I'm like, Aww. really? I'm like, what? Wow. And I'm shocked. Give that kid a, kid a car. Yeah. Buy him I, a car. You know, That's amazing. I'm like... Wow, it's not just personality, I think it's good parenting. Yeah. But they've, it's not just it's a simple important. yes and no answer. They've set example, right. and that child has come forward because he's seen it. And I think that's fabulous. I think it's great too. Uh, Paul Cornelius says, manners, manners, and more manners. Carol Teagan says, I agree with learning manners, saying please and thank you, holding the door open for others, courtesy and respect. People are always commenting on my son's good manners. That's really lovely. Thanks so much for tuning in today. Have a good one. We'll see you tomorrow on City Line.